what is good friends we are back with a game three and we only missed two turns that we can rewatch will Crick is a jealous and switched out into Ladios and kick as us polytoed through off a toxic and the Ladi Ferris and Kemper on Draco we do see that potentially specs Ladi as does a good chunk to the Ferris thorn and Ferris is gonna get, get up the it's here three Nixus comes out so it doesn't his team is not super weak to rocks, but everything gets hurt by rocks besides Reunly Close. So he does bring in the Politoed um, after the Tita, so the weather changes back again. Not really sure whether this might have had, this might have Encore because he brought it in on Reunly Close. And that Hydro Pump did 5 million, so I don't know if that's a Specs Toad. It's some sort of offensive Politoed, and that. That Lottie got blown away, good god. I just changed the sides because in the other games I think I had Kick-Ass on this side. I remember in game 1 I had Kick-Ass on this side. I think in game 2 I had it on the other side. Maybe I shouldn't have changed the sides because you guys might be confused now. But yeah, I think this Ferrozone is just going to go for Power Whip if it has it. Is he? Okay, so he's double hazards. Because like, uh, the Will was kind of always so I thought he would go for Power Whip and at least get off some damage. I don't even know if they run Power Whip in Gen 5 that often. But it's Polyte um Polytoad. Specs toxic if it's specs, it's interesting set. He does go for specs on the water absorb. Just go for specs hydro pump on a specs. On a water absorbs jealous and why can I not talk? Predicting some sort of switch into Reuniclus. Yeah, predicting the switch into Reuniclus because Reuniclus would have come in for free and toxic. And uh, kick the sex of his feral thorn. So what kick has going for him is uh, see I doesn't have hazard control. And you get up a spike and a and the rocks. Volko Rona, if it's HP ground, he still has to weaken the Tita a little bit, and the rain is just annoying because like Skull, rain boosted Skull, kind of helps out the opponent in that sense that Volko Rona doesn't set up on Jellicent. Like otherwise, it could take a plus, take a Skull easily. Like if it there was a, if it gets a Crividence up and there was no rain, but this might be Specs Tornadoes because otherwise, I don't see how it's gonna break this Jellicent. And if it's Specs Tornadoes, he doesn't have the best switch-ins, because everything that gets hurt by hazards that can switch in. Because I don't think Remix would be the switch and He just scouts for that, for whatever the Torn would go for, to go for Recover. And yeah, so we see uh, doesn't he has Toxic on multiple mons on Tender Cruel and on Scully. Not on Scully, on Polytoad. Why can I not speak, good lord? Yeah, it had like 10 minutes break or so between the both of the games. I made a thumbnail real quick and I was kind of out of it. And someone made like a troll game, which was like, they faked the odds, so like to make people think it's the real game, this was really annoying. <laughs> I obviously, I didn't fall for it that time, because I like, I used to fall for that shit when I first recorded, but I never fall for it again. You can always see when people make fa fake odds now. But yes, poison is huge on the jealous end, because otherwise, I don't see how he would have beaten it. We might just go back into the Polytoad here, onto the... What's it called? I thought he might go back into something like Torn or Polytoad. This skull there... Hmm. Like, I'm not really sure how I analyze this, like... It's black and white, I don't know black and white. But we, I can still try to figure out who's in the better position. That burn doesn't do anything because it's Magic Gara really close. But okay, so what is interesting is it's rain dish tender cruel. It's I think that's standard in black and white. Cause the weather is permanent, so basically you get leftovers plus rain dish recovery, which is pretty cool. So he didn't show U turn last time, he just hard switched out. So not really sure what the set is. I'm still thinking it's like specs. I think CL, hmm. Sex of the Lottie, okay. Yeah, he goes for Hurricane, which makes me think that it's Specs. Like, we don't know yet, but like, otherwise, he went for, he brought this in early on the Jealous and like, if he, as if he could scare it out, so I think he had to be Specs. Like, otherwise, it doesn't make any sense how he brought this in on Jealous and. But he can go. 
Okay, Skarmory. That might confirm that it's Bedev Skarmory, which means it would be able to eat up a Specs Hurricane with ease. Um, only and only has to fear um, a confusion. So uh, this Skarmory can go for a spike here. As yeah, Kick Asset does have Hazard Control and Tender Crew, but he gets spin blocked by Jellicent. But if Jellicent comes out, he can like predict that. And you just just go for the confusion. I think that specs damage on Spidef Skarm. Yeah, he's going for the confusion now. I mean, he kind of deserves it to be honest. If he's if he saw game one, <coughs> I don't know. Like to lose like that, how he lost in game one was super. That would be like if I was him, dang. But yeah, he kept cool. He came back in game two, and we will see. Who will win the series now and move on to the top eight of Smuggler's 23 playoff? Um, the thing is, the Skarmory is under defensive, so the Tornadoes can just spam Hurricane and eventually it will get the confusion. Because, like, the rain, it's not like in black and white. Uh, it's not like it is black and white. It's not like an X and Y, is what I'm trying to say, or Auras or Sun and Moon, where the rain ends after a few turns and you can eventually miss Hurricane. This is. Yeah, exactly. It will eventually get the confusion. So if the Skarmory hits itself here, it's gonna be bad for ZL. And he doesn't want to risk that and goes into Tita, which is understandable. Kind of like that play. Oh my lord, that crit! Whew. So he's like revenge hexing him here for game one, kind of. This Torn is just um, running through his team now. Like that, obviously the confusion mattered, but I can understand Kick as his game because this. Like I said the scum was on the defense and had to roost. Balloon Tran, um, it's cool in the sense that he doesn't take spikes damage. I assume the Politoid is gonna come out, yeah. Get the rain back, cause the, the Tita is dead, so the rain is gonna stay for the entire game now. And the Politoid is offensive, cause we saw that earlier, the Hyrule did 5 million. And the Jellicent is pretty obvious here, but he does go for Protect to Scout what the Politoid locks itself into. As Politoid does die to spikes, though, unless he does ha would have had uh, Specs rest, there's not really a point in like. Saving this, I mean, if he goes for pump again, he gives the jealous and health, so I don't think that's the best play, but he does make that play in case he'll try to make a really aggressive play and stay in with trend there. So he's just sacking this, okay? Yeah, he's just sacking this polytoid, I can understand. He didn't want to switch any anything in on spy, um, on a scald. I think game one I already uploaded, yeah, yeah, game one is already up, nice. Game two is gonna take longer to upload, that was a like almost 200 turns game I think but he can uh, go to Torn spam Hurricane cause Skarmory should be in 2 KO range and nothing wants to switch him with Hazards up like Trend might have might be able to switch him if it was at full and if had leftovers but it's Balloon and oh we took one round of rocks and I guess Zoom expects Hurricane from a Torn there's a good chunk to a heat run. I don't know what set heat run runs, but if it's offensive, Hurricane does 41 to 49 from like according to the calc here. So it would be a roll to tweet KO the trend after rocks. And how much does it do to Jellicent? I don't know if Jellicent runs more fist dev. That's actually really interesting for me. So we, we either have utility, which is with the taunt set. And that takes 67, oh my lord, 67 to 79. And that, let's see how much Spadef Jellison takes. Spadef Jellison also takes 50 to 59, my lord. Okay, so this Tornado is a monster. I didn't know it would dish that types of damage. It would dish that, those types of damage. Like, what the hell? I never really played black and white, so I thought Jellison was super Spadef bulky and could maybe eat. But, like, CL knew it was Spike's Torn, like, earlier, because he, like, like, kick as I brought this in as if he could scare this out. I don't remember the turns, but what was it at? And I think CL even switched out his jelly in that turn. He does decide to go out into um, Tanner Cruel. Which means he wants to keep his Tornadoes, because <laughs> it's at 39%, which means it would die to a Skull, potentially. No, not potentially, it would die to a Skull, for sure. And he wants to keep it because the Torn is one of his best ways to beat the Reuniclus. Even though the Volcarona can beat the Reuniclus too, the pen. Yeah, the Volcarona should beat the Reuniclus. 
But I can understand the tentacle play in the sense that what is Jellison doing to you? Because you have. You don't take burn damage because you have leftovers and rain dish. And Jellison is poisoned, so like. He's, he can potentially spam rapid spin here, and that Jellison will eventually have to switch out. He might also have protect on this, which makes some which would make some sense to me because like exactly he can spam rapid spin. As uh, Nightshade, oh my lord, I did not see that coming. That kind of changes the situation because the channel cool is um getting a bit lower. But I think what Kick Ass is doing here is just spamming rapid spin, and the Jellicent, if it stays in, he doesn't get off the spin. Yes, but on the other on the other hand, if the Jellicent stays in. It will get weakened and weakened because the poison will get stronger and it is in range to die from a hurricane now. And yeah, he, that's where he gets off the spin because eventually CL was forced to switch so I can completely understand that play. And I can see a hard wall corona here. Yeah, exactly. So we will see if he's like triple specs if he's also specs wall corona but I assume he's just equivalent. As the only time I see a wall corona. Yeah, yeah, he might be hurricane wall too. The only time I see saw Volcorona in uh, black and white was in SPL when I uh, saw McMagn play and I think it was HPIs in that game but yeah, he doesn't have a duck trio so HP ground on this Volcorona would make some sense to me because it's it's kind of like in Sun and Moon like Volcorona has been around for long and I know it has been a big threat in X and Y2 not X and Y in black and white too like at the moment Volcorona is like some people say it's broken at the moment in Sun and Moon, I don't... I think it's manageable, but it's really, really annoying that you have to use the same mons over and over again to check Volk. Like, there's just a few mons to check it, like a Scarf. Like, you need a Scarf with more than 100 base speed, or you need something that walls it, like Mantine. Toxapex walls it if it's not uh, Z-Psychic. Most of the time it walls it. If it's Fist of HP Ground, it might also do a good chunk from Volk. You can start out the haze especially. So who's taking the time here? I think the time is off because kick as a deceit in game one. Let's talk about black and white again as, if we can. Okay, so Padlo was talking about rap music. Okay, I'm glad that I'm not in call with him then. Because I want to focus on the game. What is up wrong with you, Padlo? Yeah, I so say that did a lot, but I don't think that specs damage. Cause like the reuniclus. It was super effective and the Reuniclus ate it up kind of well. And I know it had a comment up, but still it ate it up kind of well, so I don't think it's specs. Mm, I think it's just the standard equivalence set and he's Balloon Heatron, so if he switches to Heatron, the Balloon would get broken. On the other side, this Reuniclus only heals on the... I think it only heals on the Tender Cruel. I think it would be... The Guardian would be able to kill it from 39 with either... Of Quake or maybe Outrage. I don't know if they're all one Outrage. Someone sub SD in black and white with a uh, Salak Berry. And it's, I've seen Dual Chop. I think I don't know if that's on Scarf Chop. But yeah, this, the balloon does break on the Tran as he goes for Buck Buzz. And if it's offensive Tran, HP Ground might kill it. I can calc for you guys real quick. Let's say offensive Tran. Oh, uh, we don't have HP ground on the Kulk. Oh yeah, hidden power is 70 and it's not 60 base power, it's 70. Yeah, it should kill then. Hidden power ground does... It does zero because it's on a balloon. The calculator even has the heatron set on a balloon, that's interesting. So it might actually be just that set. It all goes actually from full even. If it's modest Volk. Well, I don't know if every Volk wants modest. But if it's modest Volk, doesn't the Tren have a chance to outspeed it? He just goes for Hurricane so that... Goes, oh, gets another confusion and uh, CL hits himself. So this is kind of annoying that the series is getting hexy like this. We did have some hacks in game one. Like at, in game two we had some hacks, but that didn't really matter. In game one we had game deciding hacks. Um. Yeah, even if it's Timid Vol Corona, HP Ground does 92 to, to 110, that's crazy amounts of damage. As he goes for another Hurricane, CL misses a Toxic. So CL is getting 1v1 by a Vol Corona because he, like, he hit himself in Confusion and it's Lumberry, so dang. Toxic miss and hit himself in Confusion. Yeah, yeah, like Sabala said, this is Payback for Game 1. 
um, some people will disagree with this. I know the kick ass French friends, I think he's French, I'm not 100% sure. His French friends, good lord, that's hard to say for me. His friends basically, they will probably tell me that like he would have won in like two games if he didn't get hex game one, which is kind of true, but we don't know how game two would have gone as Spedevskam dies even to. Even though the rain was up, but yeah, it was a fire blast. What am I saying? It's a Volcarona, it's a fire blast, it's stab, it's still neutral. Like, it's neutral because the rain takes away the, mu the weakness. And yeah, Kick Ezra wins. A 2 and 1 takes the win in black and white. And I don't like how this game went. I would have liked to, like, rather see a clean game. I would have rather seen a clean game. But it kind of deserves the hex if you saw game 1. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna upload this now. Game one is already up. Um, we have a lot of interesting series. More coming the next days. I think we have one, two, three. Yeah, we have six more series till Sunday. We have some OUPL. My man Padlob is playing tomorrow. I'll I'll catch that if I'm gonna be able to. That will be cool. He should be play around for the six p.m. So I like might even my time zone, so it should not be too hard to catch. Unless I'm gonna, I'm planning to meet some friends tomorrow. We'll see. Like it's Saturday tomorrow. Um, hope you guys all enjoy. I know my black and white narration isn't the, the best at all. I know that. But yeah, I didn't want to go to call because there was like kind of bad quality. I feel when I wasn't call. Don't want to ruin my recording like that, and also. Like you saw in the chat, Battle likes to talk about rap music and not concentrate on the game sometimes. JK, he doesn't do that that often in my recording. But yeah, Dogwitch signing out, thank you guys for watching and... Let me know, like, who are you guys rooting for? I know I have some French subscribers that were probably rooting for kick -ass, uh, uh Oh yeah, also World Cup signups are on the 27th. I might make a video on that if you want to like try out for World Cup. Well, like link the thread. So if you don't know that much and you want to try out, I mean it. It doesn't hurt to try out, right? I might uh, link the drop the link for that in a different video. I'll just mention it in the short on live that I upload tomorrow and drop the link on that. Or I, I might just for not mention it and just drop a link. So just watch out for that, maybe. Uh, also, I'm gonna start streaming. Mention that in the short on live with. Uh, I was like re recording padlock lettering again today, and this will go up tomorrow probably. And I was also getting one game myself in that live. And yeah, I mentioned it there that I will start streaming. So probably some laddering sessions. Might stream some two games too, but probably mainly laddering sessions with friends or team building with friends. And you guys can come by there. You can like, like if you want me to play NU, you can like hit me up with a pace when I will play NU then on stream. And yeah, I still haven't figured out how to like chat there because like. I don't know, I really can't I can't really access my chat when I was streaming. I had trouble with that, so I might have to access the chat on my phone. I don't know. Because like I would have to open a second tab or browser on my computer. It's gonna be a bit weird. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and Doc which signing out CL is out of S tours and it's a bit sad. The way it ended is a bit sad. But yeah, congratulations to Kick Ass for moving on. Um I think it would have been like uh, he kind of deserves this because that hex game one kind of sucked and it is Pokemon you guys all know we cannot control this hex happens but in a tournament especially I feel like hex should be I don't know I don't want to say hex should be banned but like it would be nice if the better player always wins in a tournament game and yeah that's it peace out friends <laughs>